Hello friends and welcome to the tutorial on manipulating lists. At the end of this tutorial, you will be able to concatenate two lists and learn the details of slicing and sliding of lists, sort and reverse lists. So, before beginning this tutorial, we would suggest you to complete the tutorial on getting started with lists. So, let's start IPython in our terminal. Type IPython and hit enter. We have already learned about list in Python, how to access individual elements in the list and some of the functions that can be run on the list like maximum, minimum, sum, len and so on. Now let us learn some of the basic operations that can be performed on lists. We already know how to access individual elements in a list, but what if we have a scenario where we need to get a part of the entire list or what we call as a slice of the list. Python supports slicing on list. Let us say I have the list prime equal within brackets, square brackets, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23 and 29. hit enter. To obtain all the primes between 10 and 20 from the above list of primes, we say primes square brackets 4 colon 8 This gives us all the elements in the list starting from the element with the index 4 which is 11 up to the element with index 8 in the list but not including the 8th element. So we obtain a slice starting from 11 up to 19. It is very important to remember that whenever we specify a range of elements in Python, the start index is included and end index is not included. So in the above case, 11 which was the element with the index 4 was included but 23 which was the element with index 8 was excluded. Pause the video here and try out the following exercise and resume the video. Obtain the prime less than 10 from the list primes. So now switch to terminal for solution. Type primes within square brackets 0 colon 4 and hit enter. It gives us the primes below 10. Generalizing we can obtain a slice of the list P from the index start up to the index end, but excluding end with the syntax t within brackets start colon stop. So by default the slice touches all the elements between start and stop including start but not stop. So as to say we obtain all the elements between start and stop in step of 1. Python also provides us the functionality to specify the steps in which the slice must be obtained. So we have num is equal to in brackets 0 to 13. If we want to obtain all the odd numbers less than 10 from the list num, we have to start from element with index 1 up to the index 10 in steps of 2. So we type num and then square brackets 1 is to 10 is to 2. That is 1 colon 10 colon 2. When no step is specified, it is assumed to be 1. Similarly, there are default values for start and stop indices as well. We don't start specify the start index. It is simply implicitly taken as the first element of the list. So type num within square brackets colon 10. This gives us all the elements from the beginning up to the 10th element but not including the 10th element in the list. 
Similarly, if the stop index is not specified, it is implicitly assumed to be the end of the list, including the last element of the list. So type num in square brackets 10 colon. This gives us all elements starting from the 10th element in the list num up to the final element including the last element. To get all the even numbers in the list num, we do num in square brackets colon colon 2. So now, pause the video here, try out the following exercise and resume the video. Obtain all the multiples of 3 from the list num. The solution is on your screen. Num colon colon 3 gives us all the multiples of 3 from the list. Since every third element in it, starting from 0, is divisible by 3. The other basic operation that we can perform on list is concatenating of two or more lists. We can combine two lists by using the plus operator. Say we have a is equal to then square brackets one two three four b is equal to within square brackets four five six seven then type a plus b and hit enter. When we concatenate list using the plus operator, we get a new list. We can store this list in the new variable, say c. So c is equal to a plus b. Then type c. It is important to observe that the plus operator always returns a new list without altering the list being concatenated in any way. We know that a list is a collection of data. Whenever we have a collection, we run into a situation where we want to sort the collection. List support sort method which sorts the list in place. So type A is equal to 5, 1, 6, 7, then again 7, then 10. Then type A dot sort then closing bracket. Now the contents of the list A will be so to know that type A then hit enter. As the sort method sorts the elements of the list, the original list we had is overwritten or replaced. We have no way to obtain the original list back. One way to avoid this is to keep a copy of the original list in another variable and run the sort method on the list. However, Python also provides a built-in function called sorted which sorts the list which is passed as an argument to it and returns a new sorted list. We can store this sorted list into another list variable. So type a is equal to 5, 1, 6, 7, 7, 10 then hit enter then type sorted within bracket A enter now as we said we can store the sorted list into another list variable so type SA is equal to sorted within bracket A Python also provides the reverse method which reverses the list in place so type A is equal to uh, 1 2 3 4 5 a dot reverse within closing bracket. The reverse method reverses the list A and stores the reverse list in a place that is in A itself. Let's see the list A. So type A and hit enter. But again the original list is lost. To reverse the list we could use striding with negative indexing. So type A within square bracket colon colon minus 1. We can also store this new reverse list in another list variable. For that, pause the video here and try out the exercise and resume the video. Given a list of marks of student in the examination, obtain 
a list with marks in descending order. So marks are 99, 67, 47, 150, 75, and 62. So now switch to terminal. And type mass is equal to written square bracket ninety nine comma sixty seven comma forty seven comma hundred comma fifty comma seventy five comma sixty two. Now in terminal type sorted written brackets mark Then in square brackets, colon, colon, minus one. Then, or we can use another method. So, sorted within brackets, mark, comma, reverse is equal to true. So, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. In this tutorial, we have learned to obtain parts of list using slicing and sliding, concatenate list using the plus operator, sort list using the sort method, use the method reverse to reverse the list. Here are some self-assessment questions for you to solve. First one, given the list primes, primes is equal to 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, 29. And how do you f obtain the last four primes? The second question, given a list P of unknown length, obtain the first three or all if there are fewer or characteristics of it. And the third one, reverse function, reverses a list in place, true or false. Now let's look at the answers. And the answers are, first one, the last four primes can be obtained from the given list as prime then within bracket minus 4 colon and second question the first three characters can be obtained as p then in square bracket colon 3 and the third and the final question the answer is false the function reverse will reverse our list in a place so we hope you have enjoyed the tutorial and found it useful thank you